Hello everyone, my name is Ladrna and I'm a senior content manager here at Oxylabs. In today's video, we will cover the topic of web scraping and answer some of the most often asked questions. We will discuss how web scraping works and what it is used for, as well as its legality. Let's begin. Web scraping, also called web data extraction, is an automated process of collecting publicly available web data from targeted websites. Instead of gathering data manually, web scraping tools are used to acquire a vast amount of information automatically, which makes the process much faster. The web scraping process involves three main steps. Step number one, you retrieve content from the targeted website by using web scraping tools, also called web scrapers, to make HTTP requests to the specific URLs. Depending on your goals, experience, and budget, you can either buy a web scraping service or acquire the tools that can help you create a web scraper yourself. The content you request is returned from the web servers in the HTML format. Step number two, you extract required data from the content. The specific information you need from the HTML is parsed by web scrapers according to your requirements. And the final step is storing parse data. The data needs to be stored in CSV, JSON formats, or in any database for further use. Now, let's discuss some of the most common web scraping use cases. Businesses use it for various purposes, such as market research, brand protection, travel fare aggregation, price monitoring, SEO monitoring, and review monitoring. Let's have a look at the use cases in more detail. Web scraping is broadly used for market research. To stay competitive, companies need to know their market and analyze competitors' data. Web scraping is crucial for brand protection because web scraping allows gathering data all over the web to ensure that there are no violations in terms of brand security. Travel companies use web scraping for travel fair aggregation. With the help of web scrapers, they search for deals across multiple websites and publish the results on their websites. Web scraping can also be helpful when it comes to price monitoring. Since businesses need to keep up with the ever-changing prices in the market, scraping prices is vital to making accurate pricing strategies. Web scraping allows companies to conduct SEO monitoring to track the results and progress in the rankings. Also, Web scraping can be used for review monitoring to track customer reviews and achieve marketing goals. As web scraping is gaining more popularity, more questions regarding its legality are starting to come up. Even though web scraping activity isn't illegal by itself and does not have a clear law or regulation to address its application, it's important to comply with all other laws and regulations regarding the source, targets, or data itself. Here are some examples of web scraping possibly being illegal that you should consider. Number one, scraping data that requires logging in to be reached. The web scrapers should not log into websites and then download data. By logging in to any websites, users have to agree to the Terms of Service (TOS) which may forbid activity like automated data collection. Another example is scraping creative works. You have to make sure that you are not breaching laws that may be applicable to copyrighted data, such as designs, layouts, articles, videos, and everything that can be considered creative work. It's important to note that the previously spoken information is for educational purposes only and does not constitute legal advice. Accordingly, before engaging in any scraping activity, you should get professional legal advice regarding your specific situation. And to sum everything up, web scraping is an automated process of data collection. Companies might use it for different purposes, such as market research, brand protection or review monitoring and others. Web scraping is a legal activity as long as it does not break any laws regarding the source targets or data itself. However, before getting involved in any sort of scraping activity, a legal advice is needed. 
Also, you have to consider all the possible risks if web scraping carelessly, such as getting blocked, for example. That is why it is important to web scrape with a trusted service provider. And this is pretty much it about web scraping. However, there are still a lot of things to explore on the topic, and I suggest you visit our website for more information. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop us a line at hello at oxylabs.io. And obviously, if you liked the video, share it and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you.